of bucks is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you for just doing the things you need to do to be able to uh, leave what is no longer serving you and drop what is you know what needs to be dropped <laughs> i don't know what else i was gonna say about that but with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe you would hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are um comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and leading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath they're going through some really dark trying times right now trying to find their soul purpose or even their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for being a part of my journey while i'm being placed in yours and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today the music that i'm listening to let me turn it up just yeah uh is called uh cleanse self-doubt uh, 852 Hertz, Release Inner Struggle, Confidence Booster, and Binary Beats. Um, and I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas. Everything that you're working, working, dreaming, envisioning, envisioned about is in the process of manifesting in your favor. And it truly is, because it's like a lot of y'all, you know, um, you have been going on this journey for a while you know went through like probably 10,000 daggone spiritual awakenings along with kundalini uh, uh ascension and dark night of the soul how many times y'all probably got your own passport probably get a discount for going so many daggone times but it's just like you've been working hard on yourself you know to build build up that self-made person that is going to be that new version of yourself the best version of yourself you know um because there's signs that's been coming towards you of the life that you are living and i know probably back in the behind your mind you know you're getting in touch with your higher self because we're raising to you know conscious awareness we're going to that next level so you see a lot of things that might feel like it's deja vu to you because i have and it's just like you know our life is like a movie the higher self already sees how it's about to play out in all these different situations you're probably starting to see like dad didn't i i already know what's gonna happen sometimes you get that situation like dad did this happen already or you know you, I, to me i get those visions like you know i see something i see how the you know how things are getting laid out how things are going to go how things are going to turn you might not know how exactly how it's going to pop off happening for you i don't know how all that's going to go along because universe allows you to see just enough is on a need to know basis but you know like i try to tell people not i have to give myself that pep talk believe uh believe and realize this is something you had to go through this is for your benefit and your benefit alone you know now the the love and the light you know whatever vibrations you're sending out that's for the world that's for you you know it's just amazing how we can go through so many traumatizing things and then it'll allow you to learn how to appreciate every you know experience you had in your life whether it was good or what it was bad but everything that you're wanting is being echoed out to you you know you have to be able to understand the process everything is in a process everything is working for you and like i try to tell people you know my dad on music just stop playing oops you know it was that long um everything that has been working out for you is just like you know um sometimes we can get stressed out because we feel like things aren't turning you have to be able to look at things for what they truly are not when you're in your feelings not when you're stressed out angry or mad upset because you're not going to be able to see things everything going to be one-sided to you 
because you're you're looking at it through a negative view. You know, I try to wait until anytime I'm going through something, I try to wait until my feelings calm down for me to really, you know, get the gist of what, why am I going through the things I'm going through? Why am I experiencing the things I experience? Why does it have to be so hard? Because when things have to be so hard, when things uh, flow to you, that is not in a higher good you know when you you know you got your strength back it's not going to be able to trigger you like it did before you know and it's just like i've learned you know it's just like a lot of times somebody might pop off in the mouth i don't even i just walk away you know especially if it comes to like you know negative um like negative comments or whoever that person is they constantly want to keep giving me a thumbs down you know i'll be looking like you really don't have a life it's like my life is my life and my business is like rotating towards you that you have to come out your way just to try to throw some salt in the positive things that I'm doing. But it, it's just like, you know, I learned from them things because it's like back in the day, I would be quick to fight, quick to lay hands on somebody instead of walking away because that pride got in the way. Now it's just like you really got to press me into a corner, really, really press me into a corner because a lot of times when, you know, things happen. You know, it's just to see, you know, especially when it comes to uh, negative people or toxic people, they try to pick and probe at you just because they want to see if they're able to get up under your skin or feel like they have that power over you. You know, I don't understand how people, that makes people feel good to be able to beat somebody down. I say, you are, you have to be a very weak-minded individual to go through life like that. That's weak-minded people for me. But it's just like, you're working hard. You God already knows the things you want. You have prayed for them for so long. You know, you work for it. Things have manifested. And it's just like when you start showing more gratitude towards the universe, more gratitude towards God and anything that comes in your life, no matter if the subject is small or great. You know, it could be $5 that came into your life. That, that, that $5 better be a big deal to you. Because <laughs> it was five dollars more than what you had. You have to be grateful for every experience. It's just like, you know, people are starting to flow towards my way uh, from my past. Because, you know, people talk, the streets are talking, you know, from people that I used to know where I used to live at and the other state that I used to be in. Where a lot of people are sending me friend requests and I'm just like, you're not getting in touch with me because you want to see how I've been doing. You're getting in touch with me because you don't hurt through the grapevine that I'm related to somebody that's famous. You know, and you're trying to be nosy about that. I'm just like, nah, <laughs> we ain't about to do that. You know, I've even exited people out of my life that I so-called thought was friends. You know, there are certain things I will put out you would like or comment or love. But now it's like when it comes to certain things, when I put it out there, I don't even hear from you. I don't even remember you were my friend until something else pop off. But it's a blessing to be able to go through all these different things that I'm going through. Taking people out of my life does not benefit me. You know, and it's not all about me, but it's all about making me happy. You know, you know, if I know you're you're playing against me, and that's why you're being in my life, I'm going to exit you out of my life. <laughs> Period. You know, because I got things that I'm trying to work on, bettering myself, you know, attracting people that are like-minded like me, you have to do the same thing, you know, go hang around and be around people that, that appreciate your growth as you do the same for them, they're wanting more in life, and it's not a competition between you and whoever else you choose to hang out with, you know, people you can understand by opening up and having deep conversations about the 3D world going through spiritual awakenings, being enlightened, using discernment, all these different things because you everything that you want, you dream, you're you're wishing to have your way, you know, if it's gonna bring growth and you know empowerment to you, you know, universe is going hell or high water for you to make sure you have it. But they need to put you in trial and tribulations before we can allow that to happen. Because they gotta see how bad you want it. You know, it's, it's just like, you know, if you want to be in love with somebody and you you, uh, you and this person have crossed paths or whatever and you lost sight of whatever, you know, some kind of reason y'all are not in communication anymore, at least or not in the word to mouth situation. You probably, you know, telepathically or whatever, but they're going to put you in certain situations to see how bad you want to be connected with this person. This is the one for you. And they want to make sure they put you through so many different errors to see 
How bad are you going to fight for this person? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to cut away from? What are you willing to work on? What are you willing to see in a different light, in a positive way? They want to be able to see all these things come from you. You know, that's just like when you're in school. You, they ain't going to, you know, if you're that special one, you pay folks to end up having, you know, good grades or doing other things that is not so proud. You know, you can't earn good grades like that. But in the real world, you know, you're not going to be able to pass a class until you do the homework. You're not going to pass it. They ain't going to give you no A, you know, uh, just to get by. You know, those are some things you really had to work hard for. You know, like if you want to be a valedictorian when you get out of high school, you have to work and do them grades and maintain your grade point average. All those different things just to be able to be that valedictorian, doing the extra credit work, being very smart at everything you do, passing every class. You know, all those different things. You work so they can be able to reward you towards that time so you can get all these, you know, good scholarships and all these different things that's heading towards your life. That's just how, like, life is. So believe the fact of everything you're working on that you truly want in life. It's about to happen for you. Nobody ain't going to be able to take it away from you. No matter, you know, there's people, like I've told y'all, there's people that's probably in your circle or looking out into your circle keep being in the shadows and praying on every downfall because they can't get their life right or they feel like you're not entitled to what you're supposed to be getting for you know they're trying to understand your journey it's your journey whether if they understand it or not you know they can't do anything because they were placed on their journey you were placed on yours and you know these things is in your life for a reason you know that, you know, there's sooner or later, you're going to see the bigger picture on why you had to go through what you had to go through. Why do you have to experience things you experience? Why are you seeing things from a different light? Being able to appreciate every lesson and blessing that came through and educate yourself and be able to pass that on to other people. So they'll be able to know how to get further in their life. So I hope you were able to resonate with content in my video. Like and subscribe. Give me a, uh, you know, give me your opinion and let me know if you're resonating with this. It's greatly appreciated. I'm gonna give my um, uh, let me see. I'm gonna get my post notification out to Ritz Crackers and PFP. Much love to you. I hope all is well. And, you know, send out as much love and light and pos uh, positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I definitely pray for y'all every day. And I hope everything that you are working so hard for uh, and wanting truly in your life that's going to bless you in so many measures happens for you. So you keep on your track. Don't lose focus on the things that you truly are wanting to manifest to get in your life. And I will see you on my next video. I hope y'all have a happy holiday. And peace and be wild.